What if I tell you that empanadas have evolved in the last 20 years? Hola, my name is Juan and today I will teach you how to make empanadas in the next level. For generations, you know, empanadas, they always kept this shape. But now you can make them like this. And with this, you can stuff them with whatever you want. And you only have to master one shape, the basket shape. Let's start. I will show you how to make them from the simple to the most complex one in just no time. Today I will use a ready-made dough, but if you don't know how to make it or if you cannot buy it in the local supermarket, check in the description so there is a link of a video on how to prepare them from scratch. And of course, if you stay until the end, I will show you my tip for 100% success when you don't have a professional oven. Let's start first with the ones that they not require some pre-cooking. For example, blue cheese and bacon. I will cut some mozzarella cheese in small pieces and also some blue cheese here. For these ones, I already have some bacon that I pre-cut in small cubes. First, I will start folding the edges of the dough to build the basket shape. Now I will put something like 50 to 60% of mozzarella inside and now some blue cheese. And at the end the bacon. Easy, right? Let's go to the next one. I call this one Spanish chorizo. It is very important to press while you are folding the edges. That will ensure that the basket will keep the shape later. Now I'm mixing some different cheese. The gouda, a bit of mozzarella, a bit of cheddar, some paprika, and some Spanish chorizo. Now it's time for the caprese. These ones are very fresh and I like them for all seasons. So we put a bit of mozzarella cheese first and some small pieces of cherry tomatoes. You can also use dry tomatoes if you want. Another great thing about this basket shape is that in a quick look, you can see straight away what is inside and you don't have to remember these crazy repulgues from the old fashioned ones. base cheese, two tomatoes, mozzarella, keep 70% cheese and 30% tomato ratio when using fresh ones. And now is the time for the spring chicken. This one requires some pre-cooking as we have to prepare the chicken in advance. It's very simple. I'm using here some chicken, some green onions, and of course some cheddar cheese. And now we'll introduce the small cubes together with the green onions and fry them until they are cooked at this point. I'm adding the cheese now and mixing it. Once it is done, you let it cool down because we need it to be at room temperature for our empanadas. I will use the waiting time until the chicken cools down and clean up my kitchen. Now that the chicken is at room temperature, we will start folding the basket in the same way. and I'm stuffing it. Also very simple. 
you're baking the empanadas, right? And the cheese is melting and running away from them. Yeah, that happens. You know why? Because your oven it is not reaching 300 degrees as needed. You typically have an oven that is reaching up to 200, 220 degrees at home, where it is okay. How we prevent this failure? Very simple. We just prepare the empanadas and then we put them into the freezer. 30, 40 minutes. If they get frozen, even better. That will help you that when you put them into the oven straight away from the freezer, the dough will start cooking and the cheese will start defrosting and melting slowly. And by the end, so when the dough is finally cooked, then you will see that the cheese is just perfectly melt and not running away from it. You will see. Another tip is to paint them with a scrambled egg before baking and that will make them shine. Yeah, once they are all painted, we'll take them into the oven. The typical baking time when the empanadas are frozen and you are using a 200 degrees oven is between 15 and 20 minutes. But I would recommend you to always keep an eye on them. You will notice if you are using mozzarella de bufala, after baking this will release some fluid. Just take it out. And now is when we add the basil. So keep it fresh, good looking and extremely tasty. And now you can just use whatever you want to put inside the empanadas. With this shape everything will stay in place and you just need to keep an eye on them while they are in the oven. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and if you have doubts, questions or if you want to know more about how to make some different type of empanadas, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye.